Welcome back to my channel for another episode. In this video, I will show you how to read data from Microsoft Excel file and plot using GNU Octave or MATLAB. At the end, I will show you how to save the data in Microsoft Excel as well. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. You know what to do to support my channel. As a first step, I will create a simple Excel file for the numeric data for y equal to x squared. It can be any numeric data, but I chose it for the simple example. In my Microsoft Excel sheet, I add x and y to the first row as a header. Then I can create the data for x from 0 to 1, with the increment of 0.1. Also, I will create the data for y using y equal to x squared accordingly. Once done, I will save the Excel sheet as a test one XLSX. Please make sure that you save this file under the current working directory in Octave or MATLAB. To identify the current working directory, you can check it in the top portion of the Octave or MATLAB main window. In this case, it should be C Mr. Stem Edu Octave and it can be different from your screen. To relocate the current working directory, you can click the folder icon to change. Once you save, you can find test1.xlsx in the current working directory by checking it in the file browser in Octave or MATLAB main window. Or you can type dir to see the Excel file. To read the data from the Excel file, you will need the built-in XLS read function. However, this built-in function is given in I.O. package, which is not installed in the default installation setting. You should load I.O. package before you use. Thus, you can begin with pkg load I.O. When you hit the enter, nothing happens, but it means that it is successfully loaded. XLS read function reads the numeric data and text data from the first sheet of the Excel file at the default setting. Once you use one output variable num, it will read only the numeric data from the Excel file. And if you use two output variables, num and text, you can also load the text data and save it under the variable txt. You can start with importing the numeric data only. In command window, we can type num equals xls read, single quotation mark, test1, xlsx and hit the enter and you can read and display 11 by 2 data from the excel file test1.xlsx now we'll plot y versus x data using the built-in function plot to see the details how to plot the data you can watch my other tutorial video that can be found in the description down below or right upper corner it requires the same length vectors x and y coordinates since we have two columnar data, we can separate the first columnar data from the original data and save it in the variable x. So we can use x equals num colon comma 1. Now you can see x coordinate data only. The colon for the first index area represents the entire row and the one in the second index area stands for the first column. Similarly, we can pull out the y coordinate data from the original data using y equals num colon comma 2. Then you can pull out the y data only. I would like to highlight that we do not read the text data from the headings since we read only numeric data. To plot the data, you can use plot x comma y. To increase the font size, we can use set function with the font size and line width. I increase the line width to 1 and font size to 36. You can also add grid by having grid on. You can add X label and Y label. Now we can figure out how to load the text data, which are headings. You can simply add a second variable to the output variable. I will use TXT. As you can see, the location of the text is given as an index followed by the text information. 
For example, my x is given in the coordinate 1, 1 and my y is given in the coordinate 1, 2. What if you have a text information in the numeric data? For example, I will replace 0.16 with z in the Excel sheet and save it again and read. In the numeric data, it shows NAN where the text information and you can read Z data under TXT variable. To write the numeric data in matrix variable, you can use XLS write. In the default setting, you can write data in the first sheet. To show this example, I will replace alphabet Z with the original numeric data, which is point 16 and save it again you can see the two columnar data with the numeric data only to write the numeric data in the different file name for example test2.xlsx you can use xls write test2.xlsx comma the variable that you wanted to write in this case it's num you can see the new file test2.xlsx created in the file browser or file explorer. When you open, you can see what you expect. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos in future. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below and see you next time.